what forced us this year, we're like, all right, we just got to try it. If it doesn't work, I think we almost had permission last year. You know what? Let's try it. If it doesn't work, we'll try something new. Yeah. And yeah. that was, and it was just, we almost had the 20, you know, the 2020 as an excuse. And I've seen that meme going around like that's going to be the new thing. Oh, it's 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were, we were forced. There was, there's so many, I guess, maybe oxymorons to last year because we were forced to be quiet Mm -hmm. because we were alone with ourselves essentially. But then we were also forced to speak out. Like if you wanted to connect with others, a lot of the ways we did that were through social media. Yep. Um, of course, a lot of things just in the world happened last year and we were all coming out, you know, and voicing our opinions on things. Yes. So and some, um, some of y'all need to stop voicing your opinions. I'm just yeah. going to say, cause yeah, I'm true. done with the opinions. Tomorrow we're done. <laughs> Tomorrow we're done. <laughs> January for, those, for those of you guys not in Georgia, you do not understand the pain we've been going through this past month. If one more person, I, I mean, I was like, I'm going to answer the door with a gun in my hand. I mean, it just, I didn't, I really felt like it, but I did not. Oh, God, that would have been good, though. We we were telling Ingrid um, earlier this morning <laughs> that we had a knock on our door at 8.30 a.m. on New Year's Eve. Yeah, I, I started saying, who are you for? Because I'm not voting for your candidate. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. But if you, I just would count up the mailers. I'd put them, you know, Democrat pile over here, Republican <laughs> pile over here. Whoever sent me the most stuff, yeah. I was going to vote for the other guy. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do that, actually. Yeah. But yeah. I voted for who I wanted to vote for. But yeah. it, yeah. It's just we're we're done. That was, but that was fluff. Here's the thing, right? I would like to propose. Now, this is on a tangent, and this has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But I'm gonna throw it out there just so it's on record. I, I would like, like to, pro- yeah, I would like to propose for the next election. And now, I am 100 percent in support of small businesses, and I do have a a friend, Mark, here who owns a printing company, and he did very well during this pandemic because yeah. of all these darn flyers. Yep. I would like to propose next year that or next election that we take all the money that you fools are spending on flyers and mailers that are going directly from my mailbox to my trash can and let's i don't know maybe use that money to fund something i don't even care what yeah it could be schools it could be roads it could be whatever because i feel like we could almost fix the deficit with those flyers okay here we go that's my tangent what do we say about ticking people off i guess i got another recommendation okay to to add on to yours okay because again i was going back in on the record yes okay Isaac and I just had this exact conversation in the car this morning because of all the billboards. Yes. And I said, you know what? Imagine if we took all that money and put that toward the stimulus checks. There we go. We don't even, I guess. Well, I, I'm just, I still would like a stimulus check. I'm not getting one, but oh, it, yeah. I mean, there's so many things and this is what, this is why I'm talking about fluff and, and I've got a list of topics and this is where I want, and I've posted this a couple of times and some of you guys have been really good about either commenting. I've gotten some DMs. Some people that know me have texted me. I'm getting some really good topics because there's some things that people want to talk about that new ones talking about. And I, I think we go Let's there do it. and it's, you know, and it doesn't have to be, it can be as small or as large as we want to get into. And I, I think we got a year, we got more than a year. We got all, we got all the time in the world. But January 5th, it's all, yeah, it's January, but that's, you know, here, what I want to make sure that everybody's thinking about going into the year are what are the things large or small that you want to change that you're not happy about in your life that you're not happy about in the world. And let's talk about them. Let's do something about, can we change them all? I don't know, but we're certainly not going to change them sitting on our butts doing nothing. Yeah. So it's, there's, you know, there's, there's ways to help. There's ways to be kind to people and all that stuff and still make a difference. 100%. 100%. That's what we're doing. On re- we're, we're renewing. We're renewing everybody's everybody's business. Ooh, I'm ready for this. I know. So what? All right. So here's a couple of things. Let me. I'm flipping over my little topic uh-huh. section. I mean, what are you thinking that people need to be talking about that they aren't? So I'll I'll tell you a story, Kristen. Yes. About what I took away. It kind of happened like at the very end of 2020, going into 2021, right? Because even even though we all knew that like the world's problems were not going to be solved at 1201. One, I don't know that everybody knew that. I well, think people were like, that's true. I think Maybe people were like, it's new year's Eve. And I'm like, oh, okay, now it's 1201. Corona is going to go away. <laughs> at 1201. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but you're, you're, there's something about a new year. Yes. Renew, right? Yes. It's, it's still a new year. It's, it's still, it's like a mindset change it is but you can renew it any time you don't have to wait for january i 1st. need to get better at that you can i mean and that's because you and i've had this conversation oh, yeah. you're like i'm gonna st-. all right and we've i'm gonna bring this up again 
because we've had this conversation and I know a bunch of you guys are listening because this happened last weekend. New Year's Eve was on a Thursday. Yep. You know, and people are like, in the new year, I'm getting healthy. I'm going to eat good. I'm not drinking. I'm doing this. And, and then so Friday, New Year's Day come. Well, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to wait till Monday because yep. Monday seems like a better. Come on, people. If you want to start, start now. I had two servings if you of don't, ice cream on so and, Sunday okay, night. And that's totally fine. Before I went to the gym on Monday. Well, and you I know called what? it Final Feast 2020. Oh, good bless. <laughs> God love you. But it's, but here's the cool thing. It's totally fine to do that. But then quit saying it's important, right? And that's what I say that's that all true. the time. It's like, I'll be the first one. People like, you know, were you working out? Nope. Obviously, it wasn't important enough. I did not make it to the gym yet again in 2020. Yeah. But it, um, it's, you've got to own what your choices are. If you, if you want to change something, change it. Yeah. But don't wait for, you renew, everybody can renew every day. Yeah. Uh, Laura, Laura's backing you up. She says it's, it's huge when you break that new year waiting game to start the renew process. Okay, Laura, I'm sorry. Yes, it, uh, I know. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Laura, for, <clears throat> okay. for helping. With, but it's, you can, we do, it is a mindset thing. Yeah. But the mindset where I'd like to see people shift is quit waiting for something. Quit waiting for a new year, a new, I don't know, a new job, a new paycheck, whatever it is. Yeah. Qu just quit waiting and go for it now. That's true. Okay, back to my revelation. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, I'm still not going to the gym, but back to my okay. I did. You did. You've been going to the Orange what Theory? What is today? Tuesday, I went yesterday. You've been going to Orange Theory? I I've have. I'm up to three times a week now. I know. I <gasps> checked on that. I checked on that. Okay, thank we'll you. See the gun soon. Um, yeah, hopefully. Um, okay, so... I was reading this book and it, w it was about like um, being enough or, or being you or embracing you or something like that. Okay. And for whatever reason, I was telling Isaac this, I was like, I, I'm not getting into this. Like it's, it's not connecting with me. And we went down this conversation and this is going to sound woo woo, but I, I came to this realization of the Bible is my more than enough book. Okay. is my enough book like that's the book that tells me all the, all the reasons why i'm enough okay and who's got my back okay so then i start a reason because you know i love my guy mark manson yes the art of not giving an if i know i love this so so what i'm hearing thus far to yes. summarize is your two favorite books are the, the subtle bible. art of not giving an f and the bible okay yes proceed that's it so i then, love them both so i'm with you proceed okay so then he has everything is effed yes and the, the subline on that book is a book about hope. Yes. I have, I have not read that one, but it's on my list. It's I fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Because I decided what, and he's so frank, right? Like it's, it's, it, he cusses Shocking. a lot I, in I the book. Um, but he talks to you like he's in your mind mm -hmm. of like, oh my God, get over it. Right. Yeah. But he, the, w the reason I like him and connect with his books is because he's talking about things the way that they are. And how to simply navigate them better. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. That's what I want. I got the Bible to tell me all the all the all the heart and the mind stuff. Yes. About how to be a better hu human being, and that I'm more than enough. But everything is effed. It's showing just how to navigate better because everything yep. is effed, and it's up to you to decide how to navigate around it and what what stamp you're gonna make in the world. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So that's all, like, I'm like, I, I don't even know how to, like, label that. I haven't decided how to label that yet, but I was like, you know what? That's being, I don't, it being different. Like, just in your own self. I just want to know how to navigate things better. Because the Bible, I can work on myself. Correct. But everything else of, like, having someone else's view of the world and how to navigate it is an education process for me.